Good morning, my beautiful people. It's Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you enjoyed um, Sunday's bling bling. Now, today's video is going up. I'm not sure which day I'm going to put it up, but I'm just going to go with the flow. Um, I got something, my hair, and I'm full of glitter. Oh my goodness. Um, I was jokingly asking Laura if she sold this bulk enough that we could have a bath. And she <laughs> thought it was funny, but I am covered in it. I shake off after every bling bling. I come down, usually on Saturday, come down and I have to clean my whole area. Like, I mean, remove everything because I have glitter everywhere. And I shake off my puppy pads because I want to keep them. And I, like I said, I've been trying to go environmentally for everything. Like I use these to even do my paint pouring mixing. Um, I've bought big jugs from the dollar store to mix up my big whites and my, yeah, for my Dutch pours. So I've been going environmental and it's so funny because I'm like, I feel like, I don't know if you can see it, but I have, it's everywhere. My floor's textured. It's that old seventies linoleum that you glue down and it's all textured. I can't get it out. I've got, <laughs> It's a beautiful color on my floor. So anyways, with that being said, I've been so excited on Friday. I got this box delivered on my door. Um, so I wanted to go through a couple things that were in it. I'm so excited. Um, I've been using crystal resin for quite a, some time and I ordered some more resin and they threw in a couple extra things for me. So I wanted to show you. I'm excited. So I have, speaking going environmentally, thank you, thank you Crystal Resin. These right here are gonna be a game changer. Um, I've already got a whole bunch of these, but these right here, there'll be no more of, of these right here. <laughs> so I'm excited. Um, and I would be mixing both. You can mix it both with paint and resin. So I'm excited about that. Also, I'm excited. Um, I've got a few packs of their pigments from previously. Every time I ordered, you'd get a free couple packages. But now I've got... Uh, I'm excited to try these. I might use some of them in today's... I have... Oh, oh my goodness. I'm excited to try these. They're, it's just an array of colors. It's like browns. There's two shades of brown. There's two shades of red. There's, it's just amazing. There's like four shades of blue and purple and green and pink and oh my. So I'm excited. So we're gonna do those. And look at, it comes with a cute little spoon. So that's cool. So we're gonna play with around with that. And um, they started making pigment paste. So um, I got the set of pigment paste, so I'm gonna try those. There's, now the only thing that I'm gonna say is there's no name on them. Would be nice if there was like a color name, but there's blue, there's white, there is black. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't have a black one, so that'll be nice. And a teal. So these are the colors, so I'm excited. So we're gonna try those. Um, and yeah, so I'm excited. So yeah, and I got my, oh my goodness, I can't. Oh, so I got my jugs. So they do have a storefront now. And when I went up to visit my daughter last month, um, I was actually going to physically stop into the store and I'm like, I Googled it and it, and it just looks like, um, like in Toronto, it's in Markham. But in Toronto, there's this, um, a lot of places that are just like, they look like factory businesses, like no real storefront. So when I was looking at the, the Google Maps picture, it didn't really look like there was a storefront. So I'm like, oh, do I stop? And I, I opted not to. I should have. I really, really should have because there is a storefront. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my brain the actual address, but I will link everything in my description box. I'll link because today I'm going to use crystal resin and I'm going to put 
<clears throat> the description in the description box I'll give you um, their storefront now right now in Ontario we are in this major lockdown <clears throat> so I don't know when you'll be able to get into this actual store but I will link everything in there for you and I'm gonna use these oh I'm excited okay now to get on I had to get the good stuff out of the way too now speaking of today Tish it's for you this one I'm gonna do this one um go check out Tish's channel I linked it before when I showed you um this one she has called it's the Milky Way and I when I do something that someone else has done I don't like to cop not well, copy but I don't like to do the exact thing because to me that's yeah kind of a slap in the face so I am gonna do this that's why I did this one green I painted it my oh the color I painted it this one this was the base coat on this one was the Pebio Studios blue green and I used Laura's art glitters and I used a whole bunch of other glitters and you do it in a couple stages you use um, ghost pigment powder <clears throat> and you also use um, different types of resin pens. so anyways so we're gonna go through all of that but I'm doing them on I've got these cradle boards that I got from Michaels <clears throat> I've had them kicking around and I haven't really played with them so this one is pretty sure it's a 10 by 10 let me just get my tape out Yeah, 10 by 10. So I'm going to do a 10 by 10. Now I'm going to do mine. Hopefully it turns out. I want to do it like an actual galaxy. So I'm going to base coat my board. It's nice to have it a coat on it before you put your resin. So either, whether it be paint, whether, you know, give it gesso, give it a coat because you want that resin to adhere and not soak into the board. So I'm going to paint it black. And I'm actually going to try and do a, um, what do they call it? a pour, a ring pour with different colored glitter in my resin. So that's what I'm going to try and do. And then maybe do a, an actual, like a ring on this with the, with the glitter. Cause there's two stages you do with this. So I'm taking Tish's idea and kind of throwing my own little thing on it. So I hope you don't mind, Tish. I hope I do it justice. And with that being said, sweet people, I'm going to get out of my, my new sweater, put my old one on, and we're going to get priming. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Hello, we are back. I am all ready, so to speak. I've taped my board and I've got my painter's triangles we're going to use that to keep these off i just had to show you um right now michaels has their paints buy one two get one free so i've there's i'm in between belleville and kingston so there's one store one way one store another way belleville does not carry these and belleville's easier to get around to to the store so i was like ah oh, so i had to go to kingston but oh my goodness I have enough of these now and I didn't realize I thought I didn't know they had two of them even though I've got that whole set of the Pebbleo Studios I didn't realize that there was a blue green and a green blue but I've been using these for oh over a year or so and every one of my my touch pours I think this color is in every one of them so I thought oh I had to pick them up when I seen them and then they were on sale so my name is Sherry. I am an addict and I love pretty things. So we're going to get our board ready here. We're going to paint some black and it would help if I brought the black paint. I was excited about the others. I'm just going to base coat it with my artist loft acrylic flow black. And it's got it, nothing fancy. You just want to have a base on your canvas. Now, um, in Trisha's video, it's quite interesting. Interesting, I didn't know that. Um, she does hers on actual um, stretched canvases, and she um, does a very, very thin layer of. She paints it first, and then does a very, very thin, <laughs> thin layer of um, resin 
to give it that structure. So it'll be, oh my God, Sherry, I have enough paint for four canvases on here. Would you guys like some? I can, I can send you some, oh my goodness. So I'm so excited about getting all of that amazing stuff to try from Crystal Resin. It's very excited. And that'll be the resin of choice today, obviously. The only one I use. And like I said, this, this layer here means nothing really, because you're not really going to see it because you're covering it with everything else. You're going to do a layer with the glitters and then you're going to come back and do a layer with the pigments and the other fun stuff. So I'm just going to pick it up just so I can get the edging. My, my nice big brush is upstairs because I haven't quite, uh, I, I cleaned it, but I didn't bring it down. I was worried about getting rid of all my glitter. Oh, I love it, but oh my goodness, it's everywhere. I usually have it in my hair because I tend to shake the puppy. Like, look, there's still some on these puppy pads. I try to reuse them as much as I can because it's like, um, they get expensive when you're going through four of them three times a week if you just throw them out. So I try to reuse them. So again, if you come here for me to be Instagram worthy, <laughs> um, I get it. Some, you know, you have to have a nice looking spot, but I mean, within reason. We're artists. We're messy girls and boys. Sorry if I'm not having you in the frame, but we're just uh, wanting to get the edges. I try to do my nails. Oh my goodness. Well, especially now with my thumb, I can't even attempt to do my nails. My husband says, because he's only got the one hand, being that he's had a stroke, right? I'm like, he has two hands. I didn't say that the right way. My my one-handed husband. But he um he can't cut his nails or anything anymore. So he's like, Can you cut my nails? He goes to a foot clinic right now because he had a bum foot. So he uh Asked me to do my, his nails, and I'm like, I can't even cut my own. I'm so sorry. So we'll have to. Oh, I can't wait. Today's Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <gasps> Thursday. Oh, my gosh. I've never wanted to see somebody in more in my life. He's so funny. Um, my doctor, he calls me Miss YouTube, so it's quite hilarious. When I went in and had my... Um, carpal tunnel surgery he, he came in the room and he had actually he had another physician with him and we're all, always joking to me life's too short to be so serious so like I mean you got to look at the big overall picture it's not just you so I laughed I'm sitting there in the thing and I'm, I'm like I'm, I work in the medical field so I'm kind of I was kind of nervous but not really nervous so I'm like, oh, on my cell phone. And he's like, well, what are you doing? I said, oh, I'm just looking up to see how many people died from carpal tunnel surgery. Well, he, <laughs> his nurse and him burst out laughing. I thought it was hilarious. But the poor other doctor just kind of looked at me. He didn't know, <laughs> he didn't know how to take it. So it was really, really funny. And then when I actually did the, the surgery for the trigger finger in this one, I was asking him if I could videotape it for my YouTube channel. And it was so funny, he probably would have let me, which is quite humorous. So I'm going to let this dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to take my bottles upstairs. Now, I had a question. When I was at, <clears throat> about warming up my resin, because I am in my basement. Your resin should be certain temperature. It, it helps it um, mix better, less bubbles. And I found these little juggies at that dollar store when I went to my daughter's place. That dollar mm, store with more, I think it was. Anyways, 
I mixed, because when I purchase my resin, it comes in these biggies. Because to me, why ball, you know, I, I go through it, so I'm going to buy the bigger one. So I was taking these and putting these in my sink. So now I've got these little ones. So I put these in the sink. But you could also, if you want to mix, say you're mixing um, two of these. You've got the hardener, you've got the resin. Take these two things and you can Im embed these in, a, in a, a dish of hot water. So you don't really have to put them in your kitchen sink. But if you're already mixing these, as long as they're not together, put them in separate. Make sure you don't get water in it, obviously. But you can emerge these in a smaller cup of water, like a bigger container of water. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not, but anyways. So I'm going to go put these up in my kitchen sink. I'm going to have a cup of coffee while I'm waiting and getting this dry. And then we'll go through all of the the beautiful glitters that we're going to use. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Hello, I am back. Our board is dry. And before I mixed my resin, I wanted to go through what I'm going to use. And then that way, because you only have so much time before your resin starts going all funky on you. So I thought, because you need three or four different types of glitter, you need a, um, like a pigment paste, like you do with your ocean um, pores, and you need like a ghost pigment. Now with the one I did, I used my um, black diamond pigments, but because of um, my excitement to try all this new stuff that I got from um, Crystal Resin, I thought I would try this out. So they have a ghost pigment in the package that I got. So I'm gonna use that. And actually, I'm just gonna go really quick because I am I am so amazed. I've bought different resins or pigments before. And these ones, the color combinations are amazing. There's a pearl white. There is a pearl gold. Yellow. I don't know if I have a yellow pigment. There is orange, bronze, red brown, red wine, cherry, just like me, cherry cherry. Um, browns. I don't have copper. This one's coffee, chestnut. Um, oh, Barbie pink. I thought it said <laughs> I'm reading upside down. So. Barbie pink, that's a pretty color. Um, rice red, rich red, I'm reading upside down, so. Azer blue, Azer blue, I'm probably even saying it wrong. Um, aqua blue, jewelry blue, ocean blue, oh my goodness. Rich purple, lilac, my favorite flower. Kiwi green, that's a pretty color too. Gold green. Emerald green, violet, and rose red. Oh my goodness! Now that's when you, and when you do buy it, you get all of these in um, in the thing. And right now it's on sale on the website. So if you go onto the page, it's a really good price. So all right. So yes, I'm going to use that, and I'll try my little spoon that it came with, um, and I'm going to use. Um, this white pigment. So we're going to test that out. Now the kit that I got, um, it actually, I was on the website, so it actually is listed as an ocean kit. So that's kind of interesting. So I'm going to use the white out of there as part of my pigment that I do on my second layer. Now, as far as the glitters go, I'm going to use Laura's Art Glitter except for one because I have to try this out because I have the best amazing subscribers. Um, sweet, sweet Patricia Harkin, I hope I'm saying your, night, your name right, Patricia, has sent me all the way from Ireland. Like, this is crazy that I'm getting glitter from Ireland. So, um, I was looking for fish when I was doing my those light bulbs. So the sweetheart sent me some fish and some nautical stuff and a bag of glitter. Apparently there's no color in it, 
but it's just glitter. Oh, and there's a little, oh, I had the spoon in there. So I'm going to use this glitter. Thank you, Patricia. And I'm going to use Laura's art glitter. I love this. Um, I just put it, I got another order coming and I can't wait because um, she told me use the glitter because I kept holding back on using the glitters because I didn't want to run out. So that's all I have left of this one. And this one is freaking amazing. So I'm going to put what I have left of this. I have more coming. I think I ordered two of them. Um, I have this iridescent white sparkle. We're going to use that as well. And when I did the trial one, I used this and oh my goodness. The color in this was amazing, but I was disappointed because on the second coat, it covered it all up. So, um, I don't know if you can see in here, but this is it here. Like the depth in this is amazing, but that's this, it's like a blue, but then it's green and it's, oh, it's color changing. So I'm going to open it and show you like, look at that. That is amazing. And that's how it looks when it's on. Oh. So anyways, I'm going to do something with that on its own another time, but I did order another two of those as well. <laughs> and I'm going to use the Ballroom Blitz from Laura's Art Corner. So we're getting our glitter on today. Thank you, Tish, for the, the glitter inspiration, because this is actually good, because I was wanting to do a galaxy themed painting. So with that being said, my friends, I'm going to use my amazing new little stir sticks. I'm going to get my resin mixed up and I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. Okay, we are back and this is hilarious. Um, resin of choice is crystal resin. I didn't mention that. Um, when I mix my resin, I have my Dyson air purifier on and I am wearing my mask. I will link the mask in my description box. And please, please, please follow your health and safety. 100% you do need to wear your mask all of the time while you're doing this. I'm just choosing to do this so I can explain what I'm doing. So I mixed up eight ounces and that's way too much, but I have other things that I can play around with. So I have, like I said, I've been trying to go environmental. So when these sticks came in my container, I was like, thank you. These are one ounce little um, resin cups. So I'm going to pour in each one. And like I was, oh, that might be too much. You may have to pour a little bit in the next one because we have to mix. So I might do a couple of, um, layers of each. I want to do a ring pour with glitter and resin. We'll see if it works. So we're going to do this much right now. And I feel really bad because this big thing, well, maybe it might not fit in there. So I may have to use my, okay, enough chit chat. Let's get it going. Okay. So I'm going to use the rest of Laura's art glitter. This one is wedding day bliss. So what I might do is pour a little bit back out because there's not much here. All right, let's get her. And again, it's all about the glitter. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I have these little spoons. I'm just using the little spoon to mix up the glitter. Oh, that is just, that is just so pretty. And the only thing is being here in Canada, it takes so long to get anything shipping. Two weeks almost by the time you go through customs. Oh my goodness. This is like trying to open up the plastic bag at the shopping store and you can't lick your finger. All right, here we go. Look at that. All right, which one? We'll put it in this one. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. I will be brushing that off. And I'm going to use this little. I don't know if you guys make these smaller, but oh my goodness, I'll have to find something. Because I, like I said, I've been attempting to go everything. 
Oh, wow. And that one is pretty too. <gasps> Look at that. It's just, anyways. <laughs> I'm like a magpie, is it a magpie that gets all distracted? Now this one, my beautiful people, you will be amazed. This one is so frigging stunning. <sighs> I'm gonna use that much, if you can see, that much. And we'll put it in that one. Oh my God. Laura, you had me at hello. Is that a movie? Is that from the movie? Uh, yeah. You had me at hello. This one is the Ballroom Blitz. I'm just going to get another little spoon. And look at that. Ah, oh, that one's going to go in here. Hmm. And I had one more. Oh, this one. There we go. And in here. One more. Go big or go home, right? Okay. So I will list these in my description box to let you know what all I used. Okay, let's mix this up. Like, oh. I think I said this earlier, this is like glitter porn. <laughs> oh, it's, it's hard to, I'm, I'm, soon I won't be complaining guys. I hope, like, look, can you see the shifting? Like, look at that. Now that I would have a bath in Laura again. We discussed this. She laughed at me, but I don't think that was fair. All right. It is so, if I have to bend my thumb, it doesn't work. If I hold my thumb straight, it work, I like, that's why I'm able to do some things, but this fine dex using my fine mo motor skills does not work right. Look at that one. That one is the ballroom blitz. Amazing. And let's get this one all. Oh my goodness, Sherry. There we go. Oh my, my. And I say, oh my, my. Okay. Now I'm going to, cause there's, I'm going to layer it in here, but first of all, I'm going to blow off this glitter off of here if I can. I'm like Dolly Parton. Um, coat of many colors. I have a floor of many colors. <laughs> all right. Where do we start? And actually, we're going to, like I said, I'm going to try and do a ring pour with glitter see if it works get all that amazing stuff in there and if I need to mix more we will mix more we're gonna do the ballroom blitz in there this might be an epic fail but you know what it's all glitter how can it be that bad all right we're gonna put wedding day bliss oh no this is the um, What's the other one? Iridescent white sparkle. And then we will do, oh, this is like, oh my God, like, look at my, sp oh my, Laura, what are you doing to me, man? This is, oh, sorry. I get excited over silly things. Well, it's not silly because glitter is very important in my life. All right, and this is that lovely one from Paula. Patricia, I'm sorry. <laughs> and here we go, all the way from Ireland. Oh, it's even got a green hue, my love. <laughs> all right. I've done a wing pour, but I've never done a ring pour. So let's see if it works. All right, here we go, guys.
Probably could have done different colors, but we're going to leave it at this. I want to get it all out. And then we're going to just move it around. Let's see if what we get out of this. I know I'm going to have to mix more, but this will be the base layer. Like, oh, can, I don't know if you can see it. So a ring pour would, I think would be good if I had various different colors because I'm using a lot of just the silver. All right. I'm going to mix more. So we're going to, um, I'm going to mix it in this. And which one will we use? Let's do a little bit more of this guy because this guy is amazing and I'm just gonna shake it in and what I'm gonna do is just use this one because there's enough of the silver in there and oh, this will fit in this one awesome stir properly my friend oh you gotta work with me man okay Okay, it needs more in there. Shifting seas. I don't know if I mentioned the color. And I will be, I want to do a set of coasters with that in it. I think that would be beautiful. Or maybe I'll do another resin tray for Sherry. Because I did the one for my son's girlfriend, and then I did one for Sherry, but it ended up going to my mother-in-law. So, all right, let's go, guys. <gasps> I'm going to swirl this in amongst this, and then we'll see what it goes. That right there again, I'm going to say it again. Close your eyes, kids. This is glitter porn. Oh my. I may have to get a shirt with that on it too, because I tell you, that, oh my God, I back away and it's all blue. I have to turn my heater off. It's so funny. I have a, a Dyson purifier, a Dyson heater, the husband... Oh, we had the heater at the trailer, so it's a heat fan, but okay, I'm going to blow this, warm it up. Please tell me you didn't miss much. I, um, I thought I blew the fuse on my camera. <laughs> My battery died, so I just heated it up a bit, but oh my goodness, um, freaking amazing. What I'm going to do is pour some white around the edging to make it flow a bit better. And we're going to knock it off the edges and we're going to leave it cure. And then we're going to do part two. All right. Oh my goodness. I should have just put more here. Let's just scrape what I got here on the edges. And like I said, this is all gonna get, I'm not too worried. <laughs> Everything's sticking. I'm not too worried about it not going over the edges right now because 
Um, we're coming back with a part two. And that will entail, let me just, I'm just going to do this with my finger to get the end mixed so there's not no black spots. Oh my goodness, this is just flipping amazing. There, just enough to give it to the corners. Use my fingers, scrape it from the cups. Oh. Is that not just like, I don't know if you can. I will, oh, I will bring it down when we are, what happened? There. I will bring it down or bring it up to you once it's dry. Because you seriously need to see this glitter because and I think I seen Tr Tish I keep want to say Trish I apologize I I think actually in one of the videos I seen that's how I chose the color when Laura was giving getting me some stuff together um, I'm just gonna pour over the edge here, just so the edge of this is covered. Mm -hmm. There we go. You don't want no naked part of the board. You want to make sure you're covered, just like a Dutch pour. You want to make sure the edges are covered. And I'm going to take my finger with some of this and we'll rub it in so maybe there'll be some on the edge. I just don't want to take it all off the top because I like the spiralness, but I think I will try that um, different colored glitters in a Dutch, in a Dutch pour, in a um, ring pour. All right, my beautiful people, I'm going to take my glove off because it's full of stuff. Um, bring up my heat gun if I can push. Oh, it's pretty bad when you have to push with your other hand. Once it's on there, it's good. It still hurts, but I can't physically do it. Heat it up, a quickie. There you go. So, oh my God, I move back here. If I step back, it all looks blue. When I move in, it all looks, oh my God, green. That is amazing. I might even want to be afraid to cover it. All right, so we're gonna let this dry. Probably about maybe four hours, I'll see. As long as it's basically tacky to touch, like, I mean, you can touch it, but it's, yeah, you know what I mean. I'll be back. I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey, we are back. I've mixed up another eight ounces of resin and I wanted to just show you what I'm doing, what this is before I put this on because I don't know if you can see it. Look at, it looks blue and then it looks green. I don't know which way you're gonna get it, but Oh, my, 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 this is amazing. I, um, I almost don't want to put anything on top. So with my leftover resin, I put it in these two little coasters and I mixed in some of Laura's Blueberry Sparkle, Laura's Art Corner. And I'm gonna try something else with these too. So maybe if I make a video on it, I will Put it in the next video but i'm going to put this and then i'm going to use the ghost blue and put it on the back of it and then try another technique so we're going to see so i'm not doing everything exactly how tish did it so if you want to know exactly how she did it check out her video and um yeah check her channel out she's amazing Alrighty. I got, I poured in three different containers. I'm going to put some of my ghost pigment in one. I will put, um, I'm going to do the ghost pigment in the bigger one. And again, this is 
new to me from La Crystal Resin. I'm excited to try it. I've got various ghost pigments from my Black Diamond um, box that I had purchased. Now, I'm always the worst at knowing what to put in there. So I put that much in. Might be too much, but we're going to give it a go. And again, I get to use these. Oh my goodness. I'm, this is, I, I love the resin. So don't get me wrong there. But this is the most exciting part of the whole thing was these spatulas. <laughs> Alrighty, mix it up. Let me just see if I got enough pigment in it. I think it would be, I think it's going to be good. Like I'm just tempted to put, I might put a little more in it. Just because I don't want it to be transparent. And again, I'm going to use it in this one as well. So I know you guys are all hollering at me. We need to have this. Uh, we all need walkie talkies. And then as I'm doing my video, when I need um, opinions. Yeah, there we go. That's better. It's kind of hard. It's a white spatula thing. Anyways, um, Crystal Resin also, I have their pigment paste. This one is the white. Now, I when I went online, they are labeled online what colors they are. So I'm going to have to, I'll put them on the labels just so I can refer to them with you properly. And there we go. Look, I get to use this again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to give it a stir. We're going to scrape it off. And this is where we're going to get that cloudy effect. And again, the same as my flowers, I had a question if somebody wanted to know. Um, oh my goodness, I got the paste all over my hands. That if um, they could use pinata alcohol ink to make my, my bloom flowers, no, you can't. You need to use either the Casting Craft Opaque Pigment White. You need to use the Lorez Angel, Angel White Paste. Anything that will give you that effect of the water ocean idea. Yeah, there we go. So that's that. And then this one, my husband purchased me this. Oh my God, I'm gonna say almost two years ago. It is a glow-in-the-dark paste, pigment powder. I've never used it. So, we may pour, I'm gonna pour it in um, one of these little guys. Just to see what it will do. And I'm going to use a stick on this one because I don't have... Oh, actually, I'll use my spoon. And we'll see. The only thing is, I think that one was expensive. That's why he ordered it and paid for it because I wasn't going to pay for it. <laughs> so. I fight, And I wasn't even thinking because I pulled out my my bin of um, like where I keep all my inks and my pigments and it was in there and I'm like, oh, I should have used it. I probably should have used it on the bottom. So there's what it looks like. So we'll see, hopefully it'll work. Um, that and that. And I think that's good. I'm going to put a clear layer because I don't want to go crazy. I don't want to totally cover this. So I'm going to have a lot of resin left. We're going to put a thin layer of this down. Get that out of the way. 
might pour a little bit more because you want the, the it to be covered. And then you're placing this in as um, an after, so you don't completely cover everything. I'm just going to turn off my heater before I put my heat gun on because I pop the whole bottom breaker of my basement when I have the two together. Using that, I can be using this amazing spatula. Oh my God, nobody's home, or I'm sorry, blah, 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 blah. Um, everyone is home, but everyone's asleep. And I um, am excited, so I have to share it with you guys because I went on my, I've been stopping going on the scale. As you've, I don't know if everyone's been paying attention, but I hit, when I hit my 70,000 subscribers, I actually hit 70 pounds in weight loss. So it was kind of ironic and neat. And I went on today, because I'm trying to do, I was doing it every day, but um, I went on today and I actually, I'm down 75 pounds. I'm like, what? I'm excited. So I keep, um, all the all the outfits I keep wearing for my um, bling bling intros is all the outfits I keep finding that I couldn't wear before. So there's two reasons why I'm excited. One, because it's bling bling day, and two, it's because I put clothes on that I haven't been able to wear. Okay, I'm gonna switch my gloves. Enough chit chat there, and I only have one. I have to find another one because we need two, I have two hands. It's kind of cool how that works, eh? All right. So, the response to my um, glitter addiction, I think I may get some t-shirts made. I think that would be funny um, to have Sherry's Glitter Anonymous. Let me know what you think. First out those, whoops, got to turn it off completely. All right, now, so this one is the ghost pigment. And what Tish did, she just kind of staggered it around, but Tish also went diagonal with her, like in this one, um, everything is diagonal. So I opted to do it on like a galaxy circle. So that's how I'm going to try and do the colorings so we'll see actually I'm gonna play blah 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 I can't speak I'm gonna lay down the glow in the dark first and I'm just gonna do it in a spiral and you want to go on the line of the glitter there's really no color to this one which is kind of Cool. I'm just going to go off on the edges. It don't matter. I just want to get it to make it so that it's on there. Woo! There we go. Now we're going to do the ghost pigment. Now this stuff is actually quite cool. I've used this before. And we'll start try. And what you want to do is go on top, like, see, I've got a big chunk of the silver. So what I'm going to do is try and keep it on either side of that 
line of the silver. And again, like I said, I'm mixing it up. I'm doing it my kind of way. So go check out her whole video and see how she's done it because hers is stunning. And she's a, I think she's a pink girl, Tish. Are you a pink girl? Because um, hers is pinks. There. Let me just, maybe I'll put some more on this side. Just there. And again, I'm going to put what's that in there in my coasters. So, and this. go again. I don't want to go heavy with this one. Come on, drip off. There we go. Ooh, that was a big one. All right. And it's off kiltered and that's because my my glitter is off kiltered. So, and it's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect, my friends, okay? That's why it's called art and that's why it's called I made it so no one else can have it because they're all one of a kind, just like you and me. Ha 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 ha. The pun of the day. Okay, here we go. We're going to heat it up and see what happens. I have to move you over just a tad. My extension cord is still in there. Okay. because mine's in a circle. Okay, are you on? I wanna make sure you're on. My battery died and it's so hard with this camera because the batteries are not the best for keeping, that's the one downfall with this camera is the battery dies quickly. Anyways, I was starting to say is because I did a spiral as opposed to hers is diagonals. I'm trying to blow it in the spiral to keep it the spiral. And it, like I said, it might not turn out very good, but we're gonna go with it. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the heating. guys I might add a little white or this is clear I don't know what I'm saying white in here and if you want it and then I can define the swirl a bit more with the white in this corner and I don't know do I add oh my goodness that gives it such a oh my such a three-dimensional once I added that water, even though it's clear <laughs> resin. Oh my God. <laughs> Might dope. 
I might though do some more of the white here because it blew off right like that and this color is amazing like that's what it looks like and then that's that blue in there so I might throw a little bit more of it this way and again I'm gonna pour that on here so that's I'm excited about that too Oh, I don't want to do too much more to it. I want to keep it. I'll shift it this way a little. There. All right, I'm going to heat it up a little bit more. That's going to be it. I might add a little bit of white in here, or clear, sorry. I keep saying white. Mm, I'm going to start it here because I really like the way it made it more of a 3D when I put that down in between the layers. I am loving this Tish. Thank you for the idea. I hope I did yours justice because yours is amazing. This looks funky here. I may what a dot. Oh my my. Do you see what I did? I put it in here. But it don't matter, I think, because I'm pouring. <laughs> All right. A little bit more here, and then we're done. Now the only thing I would do um, differently is because I poured it from there, Tish used her stick and just kind of put it out. I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but I got this little ripply line. So maybe we'll try and put some more clear. To break up that line. It just extended it. <laughs> oh, well, it's done. I'm leaving it. I love, love, love it. Um, I don't know if that glow in the dark is going to work. And this aspect of it, it looks so three dimensional. It's actually quite cool. So my friends, I'm going to pour this on here. I think that's going to be pretty with that um, Laura's art glitter. And I might mix that up because I don't want it to be a streak because the glitter is a little bit see-through, I think, from what I've seen. All right, there we go. 
And I'm not, oh, I gotta take this mat off of here because it is, um, it's fine for this guy, but um, for the coasters, it's not level. Like, look at that, that is so cool. I'm just gonna leave them out on the counter. On the counter, even though it's a table. And just want to get it all in there. There, and it'll level up. And I'm going to spray it with some of my alcohol, being it's in my coaster mold. That's not it. Where did I put it? Oh, my goodness. Everything, I'm the type that I'll go into a store and I'm like, I'm looking for this, I'm looking for this, I can't find this, I can't find this. And meanwhile, it's like right there in my face. You go and ask somebody and they point it out to you and you're like, oh, really? <laughs> okay, so with that being said, my beautiful people, I'm going to fill up my little, um, we'll put this white in there. I have another unicorn. And I'm excited. I'm getting another package from Laura's Art Corner. And when that comes in, Laura and I are going to maybe do a collab. I'm excited about that. We'll see. Um, and also, I'm going to give you a sneak peek. This is the base color, half and half, of my next Dutch pour. Are you ready? Here it comes. Are you ready? Here it comes. Are you ready? Oh, my wait for that one and i mixed up my videos um my resin is usually fridays and my dutch pours are wednesdays but they got flipped around so that will be friday's video anyways i will let this dry and i will see you guys in the morning for the reveal and i can't wait i should leave it in the i'm gonna leave my um lights on on top of it just to see if that um glow in the dark works so Anyways, I'll see you guys when it's cured. Bye. Hello. It is dried. Well, it's kind of cured. I think it turned out amazing. Now, the blue pigment paste, the ghost pigment paste from... I just think that's so cool. Um, brain's not working. This pigment paste from um, Crystal Resin is quite a bit different than the other one. Um, where did I set it? Okay. So this is the one here from Black Diamond. So it's a little more white. It's more white to it, but I love it. Now this is how Tish does hers. She did them on a diagonal. Looking at it, I kind of like it a little better. Um, I base coated everything black as opposed to a color. So I just think they're cool. So I want you to go over, I'll link her um, video, go on over, check hers out. Cause like I said, she gave a little more ticks, tips and ticks, tips and trip tick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you tell it's nighttime? She gave you more tips and tricks than I did. So with that being said, I am gonna try and see I'm going to turn my lights out and I'm going to see if the glow in the dark works. So my overhead, I just turned the overhead off. Now let's turn this one off and let's see. Oh, you can. We're, cause I lined it along the white line so you can see it. Oh my goodness. That's cool. Actually, Look at the pigment. That's pretty cool, actually. So anyways, I'll turn the light back on. And there we go. You can say you were in the dark with Sherry. <laughs> so yeah, I, I love it. I like it. So yeah, so anyways, so yeah, like I said, go check out Tish's channel. And she's got 
quite a few amazing things. She does more than just the resin. She does some the paint pours and everything else as well. So with that being said, my beautiful people, I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed all my little exciting things I got from Crystal Resin. These still, I, I, I can't believe these. These are good. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. If you um, like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you um, have not yet subscribed, please do. And if you like what you see, give it a share. It helps my channel out. And <clears throat> sorry, in my description box, I have my Amazon shops. I've got my, um, what is it called? My Facebook page. I have my link to Laura's Art Corner with my um, discount code, all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10 percent. And also I have the link to Crystal Resin, which is the resin that I used today and I was using the pigments <clears throat> and yeah and Laura's art glitter we have it all today so and my PayPal link is in there so with that being said I will now officially leave you and I will see you on Friday with this amazing color Dutch board love you guys have a nice day